All right, welcome back. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona is threatening Florida this week with civil rights action because of the state's parental rights and education bill. Cardona says the bill is, quote, targeting vulnerable gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and intersex children. Now, it comes as the proposal, which opponents have called the Don't Say Gay bill, heads to the desk of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He, of course, is expected to sign it into law. It would forbid instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grades. Democrats have tried to stop this bill at every turn. Do we really think that teachers are engineering students to become gay? You can't teach gay. Because we oppose the bill, we're pedophiles? School boards are not, in fact, conspiring to turn children gay. Free state of Florida? Not if you're gay. Well, those lawmakers ignoring stories like this, we've seen sexual education camps cropping up. One in Kentucky advertised for the summer, another one in Indiana. The great Christopher Rufo reporting on this stuff. And let's talk about it now when welcome in the host of the Rubin Report, Florida man Dave Rubin. His next book, Don't Burn This Country, comes out next month. And Dave, I saw you're doing the audio sessions right now. So it's time to get excited about the book, right? John, I just finished up three days, five hour days. I think you're gonna dig it. I'm gonna send you a free copy. I'm gonna autograph it, John. But before we get started here, just very quickly on this gay thing, I know we're gonna talk about it yeah. extensively, but you know, I fled California because of this nonsense, came here to Florida, and now it's happening here. Am it's I not happening to, I'm here. I'm gonna have to do the underground bunker thing, right? That's where this all ends up. Well, it does. It's not happening here because of our governor, and you have yeah. you know level-headed uh, conservatives in Florida. And all this bill says, I know you've read it before. I think it's seven pages long, but no one, I, I don't think any one of those Democratic senators who got up there to, to protest it, they, they cannot have. They must be just going along with this this group think from the left. It's bad because Governor DeSantis is proposing it. It's bad because it puts parents in front of teachers' unions and teachers. It, it's not bad because what they claim is not actually in the bill. No, and this is what the media and the Democrats do with absolutely everything. Like, if you just don't have enough evidence over the last couple of years, how they blow up basically nothingness into being some sort of bigoted, hateful, homophobic, transphobic, racist, blah, blah, blah. The bill, in essence, says uh, that parents should be able to know what's going on with their children's education. And if the children are struggling or whatever it might be, that the, the school can't hide that information. What, I mean, really think about it, John. Every single person watching this either has a young child or a niece or a nephew or knows a young kid. This is for kids that are kindergarten to third grade. Why would you want a state employee talking to a second grader about gender identity or sexuality. First off, kids of that age are not thinking about this at all. I was just at my seven-year-old niece's birthday party uh, making, uh, you know, they make this silly string now, this uh, goo <laughs> that the kids are all making now. This is like the hot thing. That's what we did on a Sunday afternoon. Yes, that's what seven-year-olds should be doing. These kids are not thinking about these things. Why would you want not only a state educator to be able to talk to kids about it at that age, but then hide that conversation from the parents. The word gay is not in the bill. I have covered it extensively on my show. Yeah. I mean, in essence, this is basically about transparency, which of course we should have. Parents should know what's going on at school. That's not a radical position. That's not a hateful position or a bigoted position. Someone else who apparently hasn't read the bill and you know he's up on his high horse about it is Andy Cohen the executive producer over on the Bravo Networks. I'm a big fan of Below Deck. Don't tell anybody that. I don't like to admit that I like reality <laughs> television. But here's what Andy Cohen had to say about this bill to his entire audience. Take a look. First, to Florida Republicans, you're pretending to solve a problem that doesn't exist. There is not a mass conspiracy of kindergarten teachers who are plotting to teach children to be gay. This is one big dog whistle. You're scaring people into spewing hate and discrimination at the LGBTQ community. Remember when they all told us, Dave, that CRT is not a thing? This is something Republicans made up. It's not actually happening in school. I mean, Andy Cohen, come on, man. Just look back in time. The same thing's happening here and others with, with this sexual identity stuff. He obviously didn't read the bill either, though. No, of course he didn't read the bill. No one is spewing hate at gay people in Florida. Ron DeSantis does not hate gay people. And I know for a fact wants everyone to be treated equally with respect under the law. Absolutely. 
But the idea that you would, I mean, again, we're not talking about 11th graders here right. where we could have some debate as to what they should uh, be discussing in health class related to sexuality or gender or their bodies, which I think we can have a healthy discussion. I, I had health class in seventh grade when we talked about some seventh of these grade. things. Seventh grade, that's that was seventh grade. We're literally time, right? talking about second graders. Why is it so important for these people to have teachers, state educators, talking to prepubescent children about this stuff and to also make sure that they don't have to discuss it with the parents? Something does not seem right about this. Right. I think I think they're worried about another important victory that everyone can, you know, common sense can understand that parents should have the first say on this instead of the schools. This is like the mask stuff with them. They know they're going to lose it. They're trying to be proactive with a preemptive strike here, but they're failing miserably. Dave, look forward to uh, hearing those sweet, soothing sounds of your voice on the audio book, because that's always easier for a guy like me than actually having to read a book. So thanks for that. Great no, no, no. You. Wouldn't want you to have to read, John, <laughs> for God's sakes. Come on now. All You're right. a busy man. Uh, I am. I am. Great to see you, Dave, as always.